All right, let's talk about portable water filtration. What if you want to get some water on the go? I don't know what situation we're talking about. I really don't. You might be, you might have a, you might be in a car, you might be trying to escape a hurricane in a car and find yourself in a bad situation. You need some water, and there's a river running under the highway. I don't have any idea, right? But there are some really, really good filters out there that you can have as part of your, part of your preparedness kit or part of your water kit that will. That will allow you to pump several hundred gallons of water, of clean water, very easily. This is a one called Catadyne. I recommend this brand. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, but I do. Uh, there's another brand called MSR that's also very, very good. These are brands that are known worldwide. If, you have, if you're on a, a hiking expedition in the middle of nowhere, you're going to see guys that have this filter with them. Um, they're a high-end filter. This one costs about 70 bucks at, uh, at Academy Sports. There's another one that's black that I thought I brought tonight, but instead I brought two of these, so I can't show it to you. We have ours in the car. Oh, you have the barium? Yeah, the barium. Yeah. And it's, it, it actually has a, a charcoal filter as well, which makes it so that it will filter out any chemicals that might be in the water as well. But it's real simple to use. It's got two, it's got two hoses. I only got one out. This is the intake hose. It's got a little thing that helps filter out particulates. You stick that uh, in the water. You stick another hose in the top of it into a container or into your mouth or whatever you want, and you just pump. That's it. Just pump, pump, pump. It'll do a lot of water very quickly. Depending on how nasty the water is, it depends how long the filter will work. You'll know the filter isn't working anymore when you start to, when you go to pump it and it doesn't pump. It gets really, really hard to pump, and that means your filter is clogged and it's time to get a new filter. Just a great thing to have in your kit. For 70 bucks, you can put in your, your 72 hour kit, you put it in an evacuation kit, a car kit. You can just keep it at home in case. You know, in my mind, if I ever had to hike down to Spring Creek by my house and get some water, I might just carry a five-gallon bucket of nasty water back to my house, put this thing in it, and pump it out. And, uh, if that's, you know, worst-case scenario. There you go. We got the Vario right here, which is one step up from this. <laughs> now, do you keep this in your car all the time, or do you just happen to have it? Okay. See, yeah, this, see, this is the next step up, and it has a charcoal filter. It's got the same kind of intake hose. You don't have to get the whole thing out. Same exact idea, except for the pumping is like this. It actually is easier to use. You can, you can take it apart since I don't, I've never taken mine apart. I don't want to take yours apart and break it. So I haven't. Okay. Will we well, you actually use our stuff? <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, there's another hose just like this one, but it doesn't have the first the first filtration you plug into the bottom down here and you can fill up your hydration bladder packs so when you're pumping out of the ditch or out of the feed trough or wherever you get your water from it goes through the ceramic first then it goes through the paper cartridge and the ceramic is adjustable so if you're filtering fairly clean water you don't have to have it on full flow so it's not dirtying up your on full filtration full filtration yeah. so you can pump and get a quart real really quick. Fast. Really fast. It's really nasty water. I don't want to take the carbon plug off because that'll spill everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard to find the replacements. I've been trying for about oh, really? three months. Oh, okay. Amazon, good place. Amazon has everything. Yeah. So thank you very much. No it's a, gr a great filter, but there's also different brands. One's MSR that makes really good filters. This is called a Catadyne Vario. Mm -hmm. And we, we tested ours. We got one, and we wanted to see how good it was. So we were at a... Hmm? No, no, please. please we please, threw please. it in a pot of green bean water after dinner. And <laughs> filtered the water, and then drank it. And, it was, and how was it? It was just right. fine. Yeah. Well, we were at a meeting of a bunch of people like y'all. And we were saying, hey, look, we got this. Let's see how it works. So we stuck it in there. They used a pound of bacon, a pound of butter, a quarter, oh, of, a quarter oh, cup of salt. Oh, I mean, it was a big pot of green beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my buddy and I, we smelled the water out of out of the pump, and we're, there was no salt, no butter, no. So I know it's getting oils out because it didn't have any bacon or butter flavor. I know it's getting dissolved solids because it didn't have any salt. There you go. Uh, We'll move pretty quickly through the last, the last few things here. If you want something that's even smaller and more portable, they have water bottles. They have a filter built right into the lid. You fill the, you fill the water bottle up. It has a filter built right in. When you squeeze the water, water bottle to drink out of it, it filters out the nasty stuff. They even have one step even smaller, which is water filtration straws. 
You stick the straw in the nasty water, suck it up. You're not going to get a whole lot of water out of this, but you get a few gallons, and that might be the difference for you. Um, I did want to bring up this thing right here because I've read about, a lot about This is called a Steripen, and they, these were made for the U.S. military. They use UV light to, to kill microorganisms. They don't filter out nasty stuff. They just kill microorganisms. And you take it, you push the button, you stick it in the water, and you stir it for 30 seconds till the light goes out, and it will have killed all the microorganisms in the water. Now, I've taken pond water and done this as part of my demonstration before, and it tastes horrible still, but it didn't make me sick. The, the big problem I see with this is it, ha it takes batteries, and it doesn't take AA batteries. It takes very specialty batteries like you'd have in a, a, a high-end electronic device. And those batteries, only, they, they only lasted in here like a year and a half before they went bad. So it really, to me, is not a great option, but I just thought I'd bring it up for your consideration. Um, oops. Oh, perfect. <laughs> that would not be good. Water purification tablets. If you just want something to get through a few quarts of water, they sell these at Walmart. They sell them at Academy Sports. They're made by Coleman. Uh, it's called Potable Aqua. You throw a couple of these pills in a quart of water and let it sit for a while, stir it up, and it will clean off a little bit of water. This is a really expensive way to clean water. It's much cheaper just to use bleach to, to clean your water up. But it is something you can get that's simple, easy to store. You don't have to worry about it. Shelf life, and it's just like your bleach. Shelf life is just like bleach. It, it, it will lose its effectiveness. I don't, I don't know what the amount of time it is, but it probably says it on the package. That's weird. All right, bleach. We've already talked about bleach. It's, it's a quarter teaspoon per gallon, so it's a teaspoon for five gallons. And double it if it's cloudy water. You can clean pretty much any water that you need. Again, it won't put chemicals out, but it will make the water safe to drink as far as giardia, other microorganisms. It'll give you a really bad case of diarrhea. If you're in a survival situation or a preparedness situation, you do not want diarrhea. That will, that will mess you up very quickly. Um, other things I wanted to just really quickly go over for you. A couple of products you might consider adding to your arsenal. The first one, and this is one of my favorites, if you were here last month, it's called the Water Bomb. And it's basically just a big, huge plastic bag that goes in the bottom of your tub. So if you, want, if you need to fill, fill up water before a hurricane or something, you can put it right into this, this Water Bomb. It'll hold up to 100 gallons of water, and it'll, it'll keep your water clean. So you're not mixing it with your soap scum and everything else that might be in your bathtub. And it has a little pump that you can pump it out with. And uh, it's, it's a one-use item. And how much did I say it's, it costs? About, about 30 bucks on Amazon. If Great you get a thing group to have. order, you can, get a, uh, you can buy a... 15, 16 bucks. You can buy you gotta, you gotta get a group Like if you get a case of 20. From Okay, okay. From no, straight from straight from water bulb. I got oh, okay. straight from water bulb. So you can get them a little bit cheaper if you buy them in bulk, but 30 bucks isn't that much money to just have this around. I have two of them for my house. I think they're just a wonderful, wonderful product. Just one use. Yeah, there's really no good way to clean it out on the inside, especially here. It's gonna get full of mold and stuff like that. So you could, you can try. I don't think it's a good idea. I would just if you find yourself using it. Throw it away, spend the 30 bucks for the next hurricane in five years, you'll probably be okay that way. So just to make sure that everyone has the distinction, the blue containers are long-term storage to have the water. These right. are something, there's a hurricane in the Gulf that's coming our way, you think you may need some extra water, you just fill it out. Fill it up. And you have that one. Yep, it's a great short-term short -term solution. You might just fill up the bathtub? You can do it that well, way it's too. Not clean. It's just not clean. You'll need you'll, you'll need to because bathtubs are nasty, right? So you'll you'll need to clean clean that water or filter it. Yeah, you can use one of the other filters. You can use one of the filters. That's exactly right. No, that's exactly right. There, you, know, you you do what you can, but this is just something that makes it so you have clean water. It's in your tub. You don't have to worry about it. It's just the same as coming out of your tap for a certain, for a short term situation. One thing you haven't talked about is boiling the water. Is that yeah, is that you know, a good method for purifying it or? And would that hurt it if you put like boil the water and then poured it in those ceramic filters? Would you wouldn't need to do that. That would be that would be like belt suspenders kind of approach, but you shouldn't need to do that. I was going to get to boiling in just a second, but go ahead. Well, I was, uh, one time I our water our well went out up in Washington State, and I was siphoned the water from the creek mm -hmm. and five gallon buckets, and I boiled it. Well, when I told the guy at the extension office what I was doing, he says, oh, he says, that's not good enough. He says, you can still get sick from that water. It boiling has, will not kill some of the stuff. I, you know, my, my biggest concern with boiling is that, it, you know, it's, again, it's the same thing with chemicals. You, if you don't know what's in the water, right. uh, frankly, boiling water is a great option. If that's what you've got available, boil it and drink it. I think that you're in good shape with that. 
but I, I, it didn't bother me. I mean, yeah, you didn't bother me. So, I think he was. I, when he told me that, I thought, oh God. I would disagree with him on that. So, yeah. I mean, I'd boil, I'd it's boil right. the chickens out of what, 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 what will lift your boil? Think about all of the stuff that's in Yellowstone in the dead the thing, animals, human bodies. <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, there's actual yeah. microorganisms that survive. There's, survives, there's stuff that just Super boil, heated not water. Yeah. Yeah. Not just boiling, super heated. Yeah. So, he's right. There's not a whole lot of it, and it's not going to be able to reproduce in a, in a manner that's going to cause you detriment. Probability slow. Here. Probability <laughs> slow, uh, but it could happen. Right? you got to know what's upstream. Yeah, definitely know what's upstream. <laughs> these little guys are five-gallon foxhole containers. You can also get these at Academy Sports. They're really cheap. I don't remember what they cost. But they, they expand to where you can get a bunch of water. You can carry it easily with a handle. <laughs> Um, another thing that's good to have around is a siphon hose. I don't know how many of you have siphoned before, but I grew up on a farm, and we used to siphon gas out of everything, diesel fuel and gas fuel, to put into uh, four-wheelers or, or other tractors we were using at the time, and, and uh, having a mouthful of that's nasty, but we're not talking about that today. <laughs> we're talking about siphoning water. And so with the, one of these siphon things, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you're familiar with siphoning, you usually have to stick one end in the water, you have to get lower than the surface, and you suck on it until the water comes out. But this little guy, you stick the, this end right here, has a little ball in it, into water, and you just shake it real fast like that, and it will form a pump, and it will shoot the water out the other end. It's a pretty nifty little guy, and they're not that expensive to have around. Where did you get that? I got this on Amazon.com. I buy everything on Amazon.com. <laughs> if I don't buy it there, I buy it at Academy Sports. So, I mean, that's just, those are the places I found good prices and good selection. Safety siphon hose? Safety siphon hose, yep. That's exactly right. And if you don't have the money for it, just cut a regular hose, put it all the way in, put your thumb over the end, pull it out, get it below, take your thumb off, and you never had to suck. That's exactly right. Yeah. That's exactly right. As long as you get the end lower than the, than the, than the top, you're in good shape. That's the voice of experience. Um, yeah. Five gallon buckets are always a good thing to have around. You can carry some water, uh, you can transport water, you can store water, you can you can use it for something like this where you clean water. Always a great thing to have around. Uh, the hand pump we've already talked about, the bung wrench we've already talked about, the safety siphon hose, coffee filters, which I forgot to bring my coffee filters. Coffee filters are a great, you probably have them in your car, yeah. They're a great way to pre to pre-filter water if you're using water. Is, is, is the word turbid or too? Turbid. Turbid water, that means it has gunk in it, right? It's green and slimy or Stuff something like that. Stuff you can see is turbid. 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 Turbid water. If you have turbid water that you're using, run it through a few coffee filters into whatever container you're going to filter next, and it takes all the big particulates and turbid turbidity out of the water. Great stuff. Coffee filters are awesome. Oh, here we go. He had one in his bag. Or is it coffee filter? You want to do the same thing for your... Catadine. Yeah. Pre pre filter. Pre filter. That's, why, yep. that's why it's got the little thing. You got a zip tie so you can put it around. There. Thank you very much. One thing I'm going to mention, although I think these may be discontinued, is polar pure water crystals. I took them off my list because I think they're discontinued. These use iodine to yeah. to purify water. It makes the water just taste horrible. I was going to ask. You Absolutely about awful. Iodine. But now iodine is a controlled substance in the U.S., so you can't you can't buy it in most any places. But if you see this stuff. Go ahead and grab me a couple bottles. I'll pay you double. Because yeah. I think this is really cool stuff. Well, how about this iodine tincture? Can you use that? What's that? Iodine tincture. Can you use that? I, I don't know whether you can use an iodine tincture. I know that you can't buy iodine tinctures anymore. You can't? You can't. No, it's no, they're no longer available. And you can't buy striking more Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. When, yes, I you found can. It, when I found it, I bought an entire shopping cart. Yes. I bought it. Strike anywhere matches can be purchased. I have a case in my closet, actually. Uh, but they're hard to find. The last thing I wanted to bring up tonight is uh, I'm trying to remember the name of this thing OmniPure. There we go. They sell this little kit right here, and this is a gravity fed purification method. You basically get any kind of container of water. You stick one end in it, you suck, oops, very durable product. You suck on the other end of the hose down below until water starts coming out, and it will literally, just like a siphon, continue to suck water out, run it through the filter, and give you clean water on your side. The reason I brought this up is that it's super cheap. It's like 18 bucks for one of these filters, called OmniPure filters. 
And it's, it's just a, one, another backup thing you can do if you choose to go that direction. It's not my preferred method, but I had it, so I thought I'd bring it up. I think that that is everything that I have tonight. I don't have anything else on my table, so I think that's the presentation. Does anybody have any questions or other comments or things that they'd like to bring up to the group? Please. Okay, so when you're putting the eight drops per gallon or a teaspoon per five gallon, how long do you let that sit? I missed that. I'd let it sit about 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, that way you're, you're very safe. Mm -hmm. Then you can drink it, yeah. Yeah, you're definitely safe after 30 minutes. As long as it's not turbid. As long as it's not turbid, yeah. It's just yet. Just yet, yeah. Yeah, who wants to drink green water? I've done it before. It tastes nasty still. David, do you have a comment? Yeah, water purification filtration isn't something that everybody thinks of. So if you're wondering what to get your son who has an eye problem, and he's got an eye patch, and an eye whatever, what should he get? Yeah, 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 what should he get? is they also sell these things that are 275 gallon totes. They're big square things like this that have a, they have an aluminum cage around them. And you can get those for about 125 or 75. Yeah, between what? Between 75 and 125. 125. And there's a whole bunch of pictures up here. David actually has these set up uh, on his on a rain catchment system at his house. And I encourage you to come take a look because it's pretty awesome. They are the white plastic, so since they're going to be outside, if you're going to put them outside to catch rain or just to store, you'd want to have a black plastic covering over it to protect it from UV light. But you can store these right in your garage as well, just like anything else. And they carry 275 gallons. And they actually come with a big a big spigot on the bottom. Now, you'll have to get some fittings so that you don't just have a huge flood come out. But they do come with a spigot at the bottom. You can turn on and off, and the water will come out the bottom. Pretty awesome. Recommend that you come take a look at this thing at the end if, if you're at all curious about how to store something even bigger than 55-gallon barrels. But that's our presentation for tonight. Thanks, everybody, for coming. If you have any questions, I'll be here. David's in the back. He, he loves to answer questions. And you had a comment. I do. There's one other thing that has become quite popular right now. It's called the water brick. The water brick. I've never and heard of it. It's blue. It looks like a giant Lego brick. Okay. And it has two holes in it, just like your brick. <coughs> I have now. seen those. And they're stackable, and you can, you can stack them so they're crisscross or they slide right under a bed um, and because they're blue you can store them a lot longer but they, it's a, so, kind of a they so what you got is, is a water container? brick and they're, they're a blue plastic brick about this big she said with two holes in it you, they're stackable so you can store water and you can stack them crisscross them up and store them in a big tall pile if you want or they're small enough to just slide right underneath the bed how many okay, gallons is one of those? And they three, have and three and a half gallons of water so they're quite they're a lot easier to, to pick up and carry if you needed to leave quickly than a five-gallon bucket. So they, they, they have three and a half gallons, so you can pick it up and carry it. It's about nine pounds per gallon, so it's under 30, or about 30 pounds to pick one up. Thank you for that.